but uh, this is all new to me. But the concept of being in court, you're appearing in front of the people, but you're hiding behind masks, is for me something I don't understand why that's allowed. I understand it's part of the, the, the COVID, uh, you know, because of COVID. But when you're in court, you're appearing in front of the people. And to be able to hide behind masks, for me, is, is something that uh, the justice system needs to look at. Um, you were hoping to see them face to face. Yes. Yes. Not just me. There's another family. And, and the people of South Africa should be able to see their faces. Uh, I mean, that's my... So I don't understand how the system works, and I hope there's some precedent that can enable the magistrate to compel them to take off their masks. I think you would have heard as well that there's going to be a slight delay with the extradition process of the last two suspects. Um, what's your reaction to that? Well, I mean, from the beginning, um, we were told that extradition can be complex and it can take time. It can take up to three months. Um, we don't control it as from this side. So uh, I, I didn't think and I didn't expect that it was going to be quick. So, Was there any surprise when you looked at the suspects, I mean, the age of them, you know, anything that you were able to pick up, were you surprised at all? What kind of emotions were you feeling? Uh, it, it was my first uh, sight of them, and um, you know, it's nothing in particular. You know, they, they look like ordinary people, um, ordinary people that have committed something as uh, horrible as this. You know, and for money, um, and that is a reflection of our society, um, you know, so, but for me it's, 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 it is a bit anticlimactic because they're hiding behind masks. Um, the, the, the second shooter has got a full hoodie on with a full face mask, hunched over all the time. Um, I, I think that we should be able to see who they are.